What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Locked Up 365. Today, I'm going to be talking about jail versus prison, the differences between the two. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers. I really appreciate everybody's support. If you're a new viewer and you like jail related content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be notified soon as a new video touches down. Okay, let's jump straight into it. Jail is ran by local government. Prison is ran by the state. So if you are going to court and you don't have any time, you are considered county. If you go to court and he smacks that gavel down and gives you a five-year sentence, then you are state property at that point. They can ship you to prison. Not all the states, but a lot of the states are one year and under. You stay at the county jail one year and one day you go to prison. Now some states like Kentucky where I'm from, if you have a non-violent crime under seven years, they will send you to a work camp. You'll work for the county. But if you have a violent crime, you automatically go to prison. They do this because the prisons are so overpopulated, they don't have nowhere to put people. A few ways that you can separate the two. Jail is for people that have short time or minor crimes. Prison is for people that have a lot of time and major crimes. Them are the main differences between the two. And of course, the people that are in prison had to be in county jail. But if you have a violent charge like that, usually they're going to keep you in like a maximum security wing, keep you separated from GP, from all the people that are in there for like DUIs and public intoxication, stuff like that. Usually, jails can only house like 1,500 inmates or under. A lot of the jails I was in only housed like 500 to 900 inmates. Now, prison, on the other hand, can hold thousands of inmates. If you're doing short time, you would want to stay at the county jail because you would want to stay close to your family and everything else. Now, if you're going to be doing like a good stretch, like I did five years in the county jail, it sucked. I ain't gonna lie to you, it sucked. So if you're only gonna do a short period of time, you would wanna stay at the county jail, stay close to your family, do what you gotta do and get out. But if you're going down for something big, you definitely wanna go to prison just because it's set up for the long stretches. There's a lot more to do. You get wrecked daily. County jail, you don't get wrecked daily. I did five years in county jail and we never got wreck every day. If we were lucky, we would get it three times a week. And the wreck in county jail, they just take you to a room that has an open ceiling with like steel netting over the top of it. So you can look up and see the clouds and stuff, but you're looking through, looks like a fence or like a screen. Now in county jail, you never get wrecked seven days a week like you're supposed to. You're supposed to get one hour out every day. That never happens. You will be lucky if you get it three or four times. I've seen it where you didn't go out at all for a whole week. Just because the guards act like they're so busy that they can't transport you from one cell to another. Because that's basically what they're doing. All it is is just a big open room with no ceiling. It's like got like a mesh steel screen over top of it, I guess. And you can see the clouds and stuff, but you're looking through a screen. So, you know, like you ain't really getting no sun or anything like that. Now, prison is set up with like a big yard, workout area, laps. You got all kinds of room in prison versus county jail. You're just in another room, probably a few times the size of your pod. Now, jail, you can only get what they give you. You can't get nothing else other than ordering off commissary. And their commissary is very limited, and each jail you go to, their commissary will be different. Now, prison, on the other hand, they have a larger selection, like probably five times the selection of a county jail. It's basically the same food, but they just got a bigger variety. And they have access to where inmates work in the kitchen and stuff like that. They can smuggle back in like fresh fruit and fresh vegetables, stuff like that, to the inmates where they can buy it. 
versus in jail, you don't have that kind of access because hallway boys ain't trying to get locked down over a tomato. Jail does have a lot of programs like the work camps that I was talking about and they also have like substance abuse, SAP classes, they have GED, they have all kinds of stuff. Prison is very similar like maybe six months before the end of your sentence they might kick you out to a halfway house to live there just to get you out of the prison system kind of reintegrate you back into society and they also have GED I, a lot of prisons have like college courses you can take like prisons you can actually like go to the library versus in county jail you have to wait for one of the church guys to come around with the book cart that don't have anything on it versus county jail you have to wait for the volunteer guy from the church to come around with his little cart that don't have any good books on there because nobody ever returns the books like when somebody gets a good book in county jail they usually keep it in the cell and it just never comes out so if you do go to county jail and you want some reading material ask around like if you're in a 10 man pod just be like hey anybody got any good books because more than likely there's a bunch of books in there because they never put them back versus prison you gotta it's actually like a library you gotta sign it out sign them back in kind of deal another thing about rec i forgot jail a lot of them they won't let you play basketball some of them will but a lot of them won't because they don't want you getting hurt or you all getting into a fight over a basketball game so they don't let you play basketball a lot of times in county jail now prison they let you play basketball heck i know everybody's heard of you know them playing like softball and you know depending on where you at they have different sports and everything else that goes on i'm sure one of the main differences between jail and prison County jail is like a rotating door. People are constantly coming in and getting right back out, coming in, getting back out, versus prison. Once you get there, you're there for years. You know, however much time you got, some people never leave. County jail, there's always a chance for you to get out. In prison, there's no way. You're done. You're smoked. One of the biggest differences between the two, in prison, you can get killed for doing nothing. You know, just looking at somebody the wrong way, they will slice you up. County jail, people, I'm not saying it don't happen because it does, but more than likely people, they're not really trying to kill somebody over something stupid. But in prison, they already got their time. They know, like, if somebody's got life, they ain't got nothing to lose. But in county jail, you go in for a DUI, you ain't in there like, oh, I'm going to get a shank and stab somebody. You know, like, it does happen. It does happen. But 99% of the time, it don't happen. All right, that's all I have for this topic. If I missed anything, please leave in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that now. I'll keep you up to date on all things jail-related. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or become a member of my Patreon, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Locked Up 365.